One of the most common ways of sharing your numbers files with somebody else is to export them or to send them a copy as an Excel file. Now it really doesn't matter if you choose export to Excel from the file pull-down menu or if you choose to share a copy via any mechanism and then choosing Excel, the options are going to be always the same. And there are not that many options though. One of them it says include a summary worksheet. I'll come to that one in a minute. Require a password to open up the document so we can password protect the file. And I love this one. It says advanced options as if there were many advanced options. When you pull down or when you click on the disclosure triangle, you will see that there's only one option and it's format. And from the format pop-up menu, you have two choices, either a newer XLSX file or an older format that would be compatible with much older versions of Excel. Now these days, for the most part, the latest version of Excel works. So I'm going to keep the default. And again, we get the exact same options if we were to choose File, Export to Excel. But in this case, I don't want to send it via an email. Rather, I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to save a copy on my hard drive so I can access it from my Windows PC. So I'm going to go File, Export to Excel. You see the options are the same. Click on Next. I'm going to put it in my Documents folder and I'm going to call it Course Invoices. Now the Mac is hiding the extension. We don't see the extension, but it is a .xlsx file. Choose Export. And off it goes. So let me jump to the finder. Here are my documents folder, or here is my documents folder. Here is the document that just got created. The icon just looks like a generic icon because I don't have Excel. If I had Excel, we would see an Excel icon. But you can see that it's an XLSX file, and the kind is a Microsoft Excel document. Now, as I mentioned before, I don't have Excel on the Mac, but I do have Excel running on Windows. So let me switch over to my Windows PC. This is my exact same documents folder that we just saw on the Mac. And right here, this is the Excel sheet that got exported from numbers. So you can see it does have the Excel icon. So I'm just double clicking to open it and it opens up in Excel on Windows. And here is the first thing that you're going to notice that it does not look like the document that we have on numbers at all. We have this beautiful couple of charts representing our invoices. And on Excel, we get what it is called the summary sheet. So I'm going to be going back and forward between Excel and numbers to show you the different options that we were getting. If I go file pull down menu, choose to export to Excel, this summary worksheet is what we're seeing right here. It's the first thing that we see when we open up the file. The main reason why we get this export summary is because there is a major, major structural difference between the way Numbers generates or creates documents and the way Excel handles the documents. Specifically, let me go to the Invoice X sheet where you can see that we have multiple tables. We have one table that has the address of our payee. We have another table, which we were calling the key table. This is where we're entering the number of the invoice. And then all of the data changes accordingly. Then we have another table, which actually contains the data of the invoice. So this is something that Excel cannot do. Excel cannot have multiple tables on the same sheet. On Excel, there's only one table per sheet. So this summary is telling us what was the original structure of our numbers file. For example, in the invoice X sheet. There are all of these objects and these are the tables that I was just listing. The payee table is this one right here. Let me just go back to Excel. The key table is going to be where we enter the number of the invoice. The one called table one, which we never enter a name for this table when we were creating the original numbers file, is the main table that contains the information for our invoice. And, uh, and this is confusing. It says all drawings from sheet. Let's click on it and see what that is. By clicking on it, we get sent to that specific sheet in the Excel file. And as you can see, it's just any other graphical element that would have been added to the numbers file that is not a table. In this particular case, it's a text object that has the header of my invoice. If we had added a picture or an image, it would also show up in this drawings sheet on Excel. 
Let's take a look at some of the other tables that we created. The key table, for example. It's very basic. It only contains two cells. These are these two cells, A1 and B1. Let's go to table one, which actually contains the data for the invoice that we're printing. Let's click on the 740. It's just multiplying these two cells, but if we click on the 740 for the unit price, we see that it's actually coming from the key sheet in cell B1. So if we go to the key sheet and change the cell B1 to, let's say, invoice number two, and then go back to table number one, we now see that the information for that specific invoice is now represented on Excel. So for the most part, when we export to an Excel file, we do get all of the data that we entered in numbers, but the layout is completely thrown out the window, especially if you have multiple tables on the same sheet.